Aaron Basil and the Fiesta El Matador. Well, here is a veteran who knows how to freestyle. Don Frankish and the Maniac out of Alberta, Canada. This guy is not afraid to rip it up in that big four. You know, he's got some nice horse for He's got great ground speed right now. He's looking for something to hit. He's going to go and get this double stack right here. Nice front end here. Comes down. He's looking to grab a little bit of a slap, really, but a short distance there to the end of the track, Scott, so he didn't really have the room that he needed. One thing to notice, we have talked about this open end of the stadium created that way for the racing that we saw last time here with a nice slap wheelie from Don Frankish. He is the first guy we've seen to get in that area and not wander around. He immediately is pounding his way to the next move. Yeah, like we talked about earlier, he's turning quick, getting back to the obstacles, and he's hitting them. Again, this is a short area here in the turn of the course. However, he knows that. He comes out, hits the big stuff, turns right around and goes back at it, hits the big stuff. With oh huge, my. huge air right there. Awesome job with Don in Maniac. By far the biggest leap of the night, and this guy is not some minor league player. I want you to know this. He went over with Jurassic Attack as part of the European Tour uh -oh. and won a freestyle in He's part of that was just blowing everybody away. You can see right there, Scott, he landed it on the back end like I was talking about earlier. However, it broke the heim joint and the rear tie rod. He's done for the night. But I think his freestyle really is enough to put him up there in contention for the top scores. Contention, yes. I don't know if he gets the lead, even with a leap like that, because he did not fill the clock. And indeed, he will just tie for the lead to score 19, so he will match Darren Basil in the Fiesta El Matador. Nice job, though, by